It seems like everyone is so negative nowadays. Whether it's politics, gaming, or just general worldviews, the majority of people appear to be nihilists nowadays, struggling to find meaning in a world so full of hate. But as an unrelenting optimist myself, I can't help but love life and the challenges and joys it can bring alike, and that's why I find the core message of the Outer Wilds so enticing. The game revolves around an unnamed player character who wakes up on a small planet with an observatory and multiple NPCs. You are a space explorer and must find your ship and then venture out into the stars to see what's out there. But quickly you discover that you are actually trapped in a time loop where every 22 minutes exactly, a massive sun right next to your planet goes supernova and kills everyone, causing you to wake up once again on this small planet by a campfire. And so it's your goal out of your own volition to figure out what's going on here, where you slowly discover that an ancient race of aliens known as the Nomai were here before because of a mysterious signal they found called the Eye of the Universe, which apparently held great power. On all the planets in the solar system, you can find remnants of the old Nomai tribes and their research, including things like the Ash Twin Project, which would harness the power of a dying sun to send things back in time, hence why you find yourself in the predicament you are in. And also other massive machines like the Orbital Cannon, which would launch large probes into space at random in an attempt to find the Eye of the Universe, which was a massive anomaly of small quantum mechanical particles that would only form when they were observed. So it's clear then that something big is going on here. But the real revelation of Outer Wilds is that there isn't anything you can do about it. No matter what order you travel to the planets in, no matter what discoveries you make, the same things always happen. Even if you do get the final ending of the game, after 22 minutes the sun still goes supernova and the solar system ends, being sent back into an infinite loop. But during the final ending of the game we get to make one last piece of progress. Finally finding the hidden coordinates to the eye of the universe, the player is able to warp themselves to its location using ancient Nomai vessel technology, and there they find quantum versions of various characters they have met before, who can work together to create a big bang that will give rise to a new universe entirely. The message of the game, at its very core, is that no matter what you do, the universe is coming to an end, and this eye of mysterious power will create a new one entirely, no matter what your actions are. It's nihilism in its purest form. Nothing we do matters, no choice we make affects anything, the universe's values and structure cannot be known or communicated, we simply exist and we have no real purpose. But to me, Outer Wilds is a game about accepting this lack of purpose, and instead seeing our lives for how great they can be. The game is a perfect example of the phrase, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Sure, no matter what we do, this universe is teetering on a path of destruction and rebirth, but the beauty in it all is those moments we have on each planet, and with each character before its death. Outer Wilds isn't about discovering a universe that is about to be forgotten forever, it's about just finding and enjoying the little things, those small revelations we make, those slower moments where we come across characters playing music into the echoes of eternity, about taking in every little moment in our lives and realizing while it all may be pointless, Maybe we can make it meaningful all on its own. You know, this game has a DLC that a lot of players haven't seen called Echoes of the Eye, where we get to learn about another ancient and highly sophisticated race that also found the same signal of the eye in our solar system. And we learn that they too created massive machines to try and figure out its meaning. But these owl-like creatures did. And what they discovered was that the eye was a quantum consciousness of sorts that was going to destroy and recreate the universe for some unknown purpose. And when we end the game using the final DLC path, we get one final cutscene where we can see the player character and a powerful creature called the Prisoner helping each other to create a new universe, with bright colors and hope all around. The reason Outer Wilds is so powerful is because it asks us one of the most beautiful questions of all time. Maybe life is meaningless. Maybe everything we do is without a real purpose, but maybe that's okay. Maybe that's what makes life so beautiful in the first place. Outer Wilds is about accepting the fates we have in our own life, the good and the bad, and realizing that it's the journey and the venture we go out on that makes us human. And also it's about daring to accept our futures, ones where our entire universe may be dying, but that it could lead to something even more beautiful in the future. In the Outer Wilds, we're taught to be optimistic in the face of nihilism, and instead embrace a future and universe we can never predict. And it's a message I personally very much align with. Because while I am one of the very few who found the game to be lacking in many ways, the story and meaning behind it all is one of the greatest tales ever told. 
Life isn't about being in control or understanding everything. Sometimes in our lives we'll face obstacles the likes of which we never expected and we can never predict the outcome. But it's in these moments and how we handle them, how we construct our journey, how we learn from the elders of our past and their echoes, and how we forge a new world for those in the future that give life a meaning that can't be taken away, even in the last breaths of a dying universe. It's one of the most profound thoughts a game has tackled, and in my opinion, it did it in such a great way. Nowadays, everyone's so negative, and I know why, because it's easy. It's easy to look into the void of the universe, into the void of your mind, and give up. To assume that because you have no real effect or purpose, that you're meaningless. But the real courage comes from those who can look into that ether and realize that maybe that just gives us the most meaningful life of all. To fill our worlds with purpose and respects to the past and hope for the future. I can't tell you whether the universe has a purpose or meaning, but you can tell yourself how you can feel in the face of it. A powerful realization, for sure.